Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we'll be working on a Dodge Derby, but what we will be doing actually may work on Chrysler 200. Why? Because both of the vehicles, guys, share the same platform. Many of the parts will be interchangeable as well. Quick introduction, guys. Every car we get at the shop, we'll be making at least 200 videos. Why we do all that? Because our mission here at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. Hopefully you will find the information helpful. In today's video, we'll show you guys how to remove and how to replace blower motor fan resistor. Stay with us, we'll have to do quite a bit of disassembly to get to it and we'll show you where it's located. No, uh, not uh, too complicated guys, but it will, it will take a little bit of work. Blower motor, fan resistor, stay with us, that's what we'll be doing. If you need to buy a new one, any replacement parts, tools, anything like that, we'll have the link in the description of the video below, so please check it out guys. Now, this is a 2015 Dodge Dart that we'll be working on and uh, we will show you guys how to replace that blower motor, fan resistor on it, but it should be the same for the whole generation. So let me show you guys quick, you have to do quite a bit of disassembly and I'll show you what needs to be done, all that will be shown guys, but uh, <coughs> if guys your radiator fan, uh, blower motor fan, excuse me, not radiator fan, blower motor fan doesn't work correctly guys, it could be because of a bad resistor, if you cannot change the speeds, if it's stuck on one speed, sometimes even if it doesn't turn on guys, it's because of that resistor. You will have to remove your glove box, stay with us, we'll show you how to do that, it's not very... Uh, complicated but you have to know where each of the screws is located otherwise you won't be able to do it so we'll go ahead start on this one guys and then we'll continue with the uh, blower motor fan resistor removal and replacement so let me show you guys okay what we need to do now uh, pretty simple here underneath guys okay you have one cover this cover is underneath okay that you need to remove okay it's actually this way check it out now it's like that under the glove box it goes all the way in and you need to remove it by removing these two clips. Okay, one clip right here, plastic clip, and one on the other side, guys. Okay, over there. How we remove that? With a clip remover too. You just go, pry it, and it comes out. Okay, and this thing is out of there now, completely out. Next, guys. Okay, we have that thing underneath where it actually uh, puts the heat, okay, the blower motor fan outlet for the feed guys the, for the food well right here this one has one clip that you need to remove this clip is located okay like that right here so you need to get that clip out you get the center piece out and then you pull it out and that piece comes out uh, you just pull it out and it's out of the way next guys right here we need to remove that cover okay so let's hold the camera quick Okay, let me come here. It has five clips, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Then we need to get a seven millimeter socket, guys. We open the glove box and right here. Okay, let me show you now. I need to get the camera to be able to show you. Right here, we have two screws on top. Okay, and this one, I need to get it this way going. One is out, one right there in this corner. Perfect. So these two are out now, guys. Let me show you what else we need to do. We're going to video from right here now. If you grab your glove box on this side, you will not be able to come out. Okay, that hinge will not come out because there is a device that prevents the glove box from dropping down. Ours is broken and we'll show you that in the middle, in the beginning, uh, towards the end, excuse me. What do you guys need to do? Okay, you're going to grab that glove box okay let me show you now you're going to lift that thing up a little bit to come out okay and then it comes out like that now let's bring the camera down okay perfect and right here three more screws guys one two three now our glove box okay here okay actually came out because that thing is broken as I said but otherwise it will be like that so at that point okay just close it like that guys and from that point I think you have five five bolts that you need to remove I think it was five or maybe it was more let me see I will go ahead and remove the glove box but I'll explain okay we will explain where those bolts are grab on this side okay 
right here. Grab on this side and pull the clips out of here. So at the same time, okay, let me pass the camera, okay, like that. I can pull the glove box from here and then from over there as well. This is it, guys. Here you will have one wire that you will need to disconnect. This is the plug-in, guys. Ours, I disconnected it because I cannot show you with the camera. You reach it from underneath right here and you're going to go ahead and disconnect it. Now, let me show you guys where all the bolts, all the bolts and the screws are located now. So let me show you those two clips that I told you, they attach right here on the glove box and the other side over there. The screws guys that we remove now, they're on the very back on the bottom. You access them through here guys, almost impossible for me to show you. You have one, two, three screws here. Then you have one screw right there and you have another one over here. And then guys, you have a fourth screw, okay, over here, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six screws that we need to remove. And from that point on, you remove the glove box. Now, remember how I said that our mechanism that prevents the glove box from going down is broken? This is because it's missing one clip here, okay? The clip should be attached. It will be kind of like, okay, if I insert that screw now, okay, I want to show you just what is going to happen. We should have a clip there, but let me just show you quick. Okay, if we have the screw now, how it pulls the mechanism, it activates the light and it doesn't prevent the glove box from going down too fast and to break. So, you can see everything is out guys. So you know how to do it. That light, it's supposed to stay right here. You can see just like that, but this one came loose as well. So as you can see guys, okay, the glove box is removed now. We have way more room to work with. And uh, what we have now right here guys, okay, let me actually uh, situate right here so I can show you because it's not as easy, okay, to reach everything as you think. Now, this right here on the bottom side, this is your blower motor fan resistor. There is one wire that you need to push in on this side and disconnect, guys, and one on top. So two, two wires, one is out. Now working on the second one. Ah, it was almost out. It was almost out, but I cannot pull it quite a bit. Okay, let me see what is preventing that wire from coming loose, guys. I will try to reach from up here. It might be just a short wire from what I can see. So I'll attempt something else, guys. What I'm going to do, I will actually go ahead. Okay, oh, it came out. I thought it's too short, it's not, it came out. It was just a little bit stuck, guys. That's the only reason why it didn't come out. Here on top we have one boat, okay, with 732s, guys. Okay, one boat. So let me go ahead and get this one loose. It's actually a screw. I thought it's a bolt, but it's a screw. Okay, it's out. Now let me show you guys right here. If I grab it, this is guys your blower motor fan resistor guys. Okay, this right here, you can see how it goes on the bottom. Doesn't have a bolt. It has that clip, okay, right here. So. If you guys need to remove it and replace it, if your radiator, uh, excuse me, heater fan is not working correctly, it's because you have a faulty, okay, faulty uh, fan resistor, okay, this thing right here, guys. So, that's how you guys remove it, uh, installing it practically in reverse order with two it apart. If you need to purchase a new one, we'll have the link in the description of the video below to see where you can get it from. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to our channel for more videos and see you guys next time.